Nails. Sure, they're a great surface area to decorate. They help us pick up objects, scratch an itch, and when you apply counterforce, they improve tactile discrimination. Nails grow throughout our lives. In fact, every six months our nails renew. That means that we have a living six-month medical record that's unique in all of the physical exam components. Hi, I'm Dr. Kara Fitzgerald with the Institute for Functional Medicine, and I'm here to talk to you about the wonderment that is the nail. Did you know that most nutrient deficiencies will present on the nail before they show up in any other clinical or laboratory findings? And in autoimmune disease and systemic diseases, onset will often show up first with nail changes. If you have a postmenopausal woman with brittle nails, that should alert you to check bone mineral density. And when you actually treat the bone mineral density issue, the nails also should show up strong. In this lecture series, I'll walk you through the nail physical exam and how to interpret your findings from a functional medicine perspective, mapping back to the matrix. I think you'll find this a useful and easy tool to incorporate into your practice. The equipment you need for the nail physical exam is very straightforward. Primarily, we need good lighting, good visualization skills. To aid in that, a magnifying glass is handy, an episcope may be useful, and to measure the location of lesions to identify when they happened in time, have a ruler on hand. A camera with good close-up capabilities is needed for baseline and follow-up assessment of changes. If you notice fungal infection, have two slides and KOH on hand to obtain a scraping. And then lastly, if there are lesions present, glove up with a latex-free pair of gloves. Positioning for the nail physical exam. Most importantly, you should inform your patient prior to the visit to come without nail polish or artificial nails. Ask them then to remove their shocks and shoes, sit on the exam table facing you. Mm -hmm. 